Hey guys, <clears throat> Brian Savage here with you. Sorry about that. Um, just like yesterday, today we're building a pedal, but today it's a delay pedal. A lot more intricate, a lot more components going into it. Now all I've done here is I have, I went through and show you everything here. It's kind of drooped a little bit. There we go. Uh, laid everything out. Uh, this wire does not come with the kit. Okay, This is wire that I have. I like to color coordinate things. This is the wire that comes in the kit. It's good wire. Nothing wrong with it. No complaints. I will use it. Um, and this out of the last pedal, this was uh, all I had left out of it. And I will use that as well. Um, <clears throat> again, I just like to have some different collars in there so whenever I'm wiring it up it helps me keep my mind straight by you know things positive negative sins or return whatever um, instead of it all being the same color it makes it a little easier for me so I get less confused um, capacitors clearly labeled except this this one right here wouldn't you know it, one of these little tiny ones Nah, it's unlegible. So through process of elimination, I'll find out where what it, its value is. Uh, some of the writing on these capacitor or these resistors. Let me show you one that's real bad. I think that's supposed to be a twenty-seven. Can you make it out? Twenty-seven K. I guess we'll find out. There are some 24s. So I don't think it's supposed to be a 24. Um, but sometimes that's what you deal with. It's kind of hard to write something that small, I'm sure. It come with two set of feet. I did, yeah, that was, uh, found that a little odd. There's the case. And um, I've got the instructions, everything laid out. Iron's getting hot. Yeah. Iron's getting hot. Uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put these components in this board right here. I'm going to do them one at a time. And uh, it's going to be longer. These videos, like I said, are going to be longer. Um, I'm actually going to record a lot of this. Um, some of my peeps watched my videos from the pedal yesterday and said, I wish you would have showed soldering that stuff in, or I wish I would have showed this or that. And I really don't like showing all that stuff, not for any particular reason other than I think that stuff's boring. I've uh, mentioned before, if I could fast forward through it and just voice over it, that'd be the way I'd do it, but I don't have the ability to do that. Um, so anyway, guys, that, that's what is on uh, up here today. And uh, let's get started. This is a little rubber heat resistant mat that my beautiful wife gave me out of one of her curling irons. And it's great because it doesn't uh, doesn't hold heat, doesn't transfer heat. If I drop solder on it, it doesn't stick to it. Makes everything nice and safe. Uh, I'm going to start out now with the other kit. I had the same complaint. It did it on this one too. See all those bent? Uh, instead of getting started on this, i tell you what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more. Uh, I'll do another video and I'll do soldering in the components. The first video, I'm going to talk about what you need. Uh, quality soldering iron. Uh, and this one, believe it or not, is not. This is an old hobby kit soldering iron. You can see where it's broken. I've glued it back together. That's just the soldering tip that I use. That's what's on there. Uh, it works. Little tips for soldering. If you don't know what you're doing, watch some videos on it, something like that, and practice on other things than these kind of stuff. Uh, especially like these chips here. They are very in diodes. They're very heat sensitive. Um, so... Uh, that's again good nod to them that they do put the sockets in so you solder in the sockets and then just plug in those 
So that is good. But take the time, lay it out, look at your components. Now, this one did not come. The, the overdrive had a parts list on it. The delay does not. Um, so I can't, you know, compare it to a parts list, but that's okay. I, I, I won't need to. If there's not something in here, that's okay. Um, I tell you what, next thing we're going to talk about is the tools. And I'm going to take you out of here real quick. Show you what I've done. Here's my tool layout. Um, these are not quite necessary. Let's look here. I just put some jacks there so that I, you know, can plug it in and test it. Phillips screwdriver, uh, a 10, 8, 12, and 14 millimeter wrench. This is an 11 32nd because the LED is supposed to be an 8 and it's uh, a little, the, the nuts nut wasn't stamped correctly and it's a little bit too big to fit in the 8. Should be an 8. It is metric. Um, a file, the file, this flat file I have because on... These potentiometers, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out or not, but there's a little raised part on them and they won't set flat in the housing, so I found on the other one. I had to file that off. Small fl flat screwdriver to tighten up the uh, knobs for the potentiometer. Sorry about the mess here. That's all the packing material from where I threw it yesterday. Fingernail clippers. I like fingernail clippers after I solder components and I clip off the main excess. I go back across the board and I clip off any extras. It's good for clipping wires, things like that. A pair of scissors, um, always handy. Spider, we just get rid of that. These, all these little snips and pliers I'll use. <clears throat> Some electrical tape. I like to, sometimes after I solder a component, tape over it. I don't have any heat shrink tubing right now, so we'll just do the old tape bit on there. That's really, really good tape. <clears throat> a marker. Three different size drill bits. This is for the LED. This is for the power jack as well as the stomp switch. And this fits the input and output jack as well as the potentiometer holes. Uh, this is... Um, a little undersized for the, no, I'm sorry, I'm missing a bit here. I still got to get another one out for the potentiometer, which is a little undersized, which is why the round file to clean off any of the burrs from uh, the housing and uh, just open up the hole just a little bit if need be. Uh, a good sharp knife, a pair of wire strippers, a little hammer. I used a nail, and I'll get another nail to make my... Uh, dents in the casing to sit like a center punch for my drill bits so my drill bits don't waller around um, and the masking tape to mask everything on the housing off so that I don't scratch it up okay guys so anyway um, that's the basics on where we're at now um, and uh, we'll end this video here sorry about that we'll end it here and I got my drill press ready. So, anyway, share the music, share the love. Look forward to video number two because that is going to be when I do some soldering. See you later.